think that water's about 40 degrees. Gonna have one of these, that solves everything. One spark, look at that. Those could be fear and bourbon. Might be more content on the horizon. Lots more content. This could be a total disaster, but let's give it a shot. This is Three Creeks Lake behind me. Wow, look at this. Previously on Lost. So I booked the campsite at Camp Sherman. On this trip, I'll be rocking the Ace Hardware Maximum Protection Gloves. By the way, it's kind of gorgeous here. The view on the way out is not terrible. It is currently 94 degrees. We're gonna go find that lookout tower. That's the road down there that I was on. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, we are pissing gas everywhere. This is why I shouldn't be out in the middle of nowhere with my lack of mechanical skills. I don't even know what to do in a situation like this. And now, the conclusion. It's time to get wet. I think that water's about 40 degrees. Very cooled off now. That was fast. That was refreshing. Nice at the rivers here. So I went to the truck to look at my dinner options. Completely, I don't know why this wasn't the first thing on my mind when I got back to camp, but forgot I had delicious Coors Lights in there. So kind of have one of these. That solves everything. Because I'm not going to ride anymore tonight. And then I made two turkey sandwiches for lunch and I only ate one. So I'm just going to eat this and a little bit of jerky. Right now, I'm just hungry and I don't want to deal with it. So I'm gonna eat this sandwich and this jerky and enjoy this delicious beer. So I eliminated over half of what I thought was the problem with that gas tank on the second ride. And it was still doing it. So now I'm thinking maybe the gas cap is faulty. So maybe I'll just try replacing the gas cap. It's just not venting right. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure it has, the DRC had a one year warranty and it ran out about two weeks ago. That must be the gorge. You can see there's a cliff there and a cliff on the other side where the campground gets its name. I'll tell you what, it sure is gorgeous. Dad jokes for days. Well, the way I see it, there's only about two things left to do uh, since I already started drinking beer. First one is make a fire. Second one is that's Mr. Puff Puff, obviously. So I'm gonna make a fire here in a second. And I'm gonna use my Bigfoot Bushcraft fire starters. And Bigfoot Bushcraft was awesome enough to sponsor a giveaway. So we're gonna give away their kit that comes with the fire steel, the fire starters, and the tin that you can put the fire starters in. These things work super well. I'm gonna show you here in a second. Make sure you head over to my Instagram page, at a dork in the road. Follow me, follow at Bigfoot Bushcraft, and then comment on the contest post to be entered to win. And we'll draw the winners a week after this video comes out. And Bigfoot Bushcraft will send you a starter kit with fire steel, fire starters, and the tin to put the fire starters in. Also, they can ship internationally. So Canadian friends, you're welcome. Please feel free to enter the giveaway over on Instagram, instagram.com slash a dork in the road. But let's make a fire. I'm gonna show you how these things work. So here's the tin we're giving away inside fire starters the trick is you bend them apart like this and then i like to twist them at the end it gives me the most fibers so these are waterproof they're light wet dry almost any conditions and they last about five to seven minutes in my experience they're pretty cool also if you don't win the contest but you want to order some there's a link in the description and you can use promo code dork in the road to save 15 percent off any purchase from Bigfoot Bushcraft. So that's not bad at all. Promo code dork in the road, all one word. That's a good hair. That's some good fibers. See that? One spark. Look at that. Local tinder. See why fire, forest fires are a thing? Look at it go. That's not maybe the approved method, but it works with this stuff. You can even be terrible at making fires and you can still light one. You can damn near put it out with your incompetence and uh, it'll come roaring back. Cigarbid.com is like one of my favorite websites. You can get stuff for like super cheap prices. So I got a 20 pack of these Rocky Patel cargos. 
super cheap, like $2 of Mr. Puff Puff. And we call them Mr. Puff Puffs because I got demonetized once and my daughter renamed them that. And I know it's not strictly necessary anymore, but you know what? It's fun. So these are Mr. Puff Puffs. So I've got two of these Rocky Patel cargos with me. I'm sweating, it's hot. It's supposed to be 74 degrees at midnight. So I brought my rechargeable fan because remember in my motor camping luxuries video, I talked about bringing a fan. I brought that and I brought my Jackery power bank and I'm gonna plug it in and run it all night. Blowing on me on high and that should work just fine. Again, Mr. Puff Puffs are a disgusting habit and you should not smoke them. But I like them when I'm camping. Those good with beer and bourbon. But I'm not encouraging you to do it, even though they look super cool. It's still happening. It's literally the driveway for my campsite. I'm not annoyed at all. I don't remember if I said anything about what happened to the bike, so I got out there and it was it was not venting again. So I think the problem is just the vent cap. The gas cap is not venting like it's supposed to. I think that's the only vent on the tank. It's not my tank bag, I just want to say that definitively. I don't think the tank bag had anything to do with it because it was doing it even with the tank bag. Shifted back and it did it when I wasn't riding hard or changing elevation. It was still hot, so it's either the heat or it's just that cap isn't venting. It's scary though to be to be stranded halfway up a mountainside. On a wing that I didn't get to the lookout. I have to make that a mission to come back. It's one with the idea of buying an enclosed trailer, hauling bikes in it and camping out of it. Has anyone ever done that? Get an enclosed trailer, and I, like here would be perfect. I could sleep in it, get a little porta potty in there and disperse camp out of it. Haul bikes easy, keep them out of the rain, have a place to get out of the sun. Way cheaper than a camp trailer. Way cheaper. The more I think about it, the more I like it. Put some windows in it, maybe a vent in the roof. What do you think in the comments? Let me know. I like the idea. Put a humidor in there. Something else. I can't really reveal anything just yet, but big news coming, guys. Big news. Pretty stoked. Something pretty amazing is on the horizon. Biggest news in the history of this channel. Easily. Nothing comes close to this. Can't wait to tell you, but I can't tell you yet because it's not finalized and... I want to wait till it's finalized. Shouldn't even be saying it might be happening, but it's 95%, 90%. It's pretty much happening because I've done some, I've made some steps that make it pretty assured, but it's not too late to change it if I had to. So we'll see. Just know. There might be more content on the horizon. Lots more content. Let's hope. So it's dark, and I'm in the tent, but I want to show you guys the little miracle that's going to make tonight bearable. This is my fan. It has a rechargeable battery, but on high it won't last all night. I'm going to actually plug it into a power source. I have this little jackery. I got the smallest ones that will fit in my saddlebags on the bike easily, but it should have enough power to keep that thing going all night. Pretty stoked on that. It's already way cooler in here. I can feel it, so highly recommend it. I'm going to settle in a read for a bit. Hopefully it cools off enough to sleep. It's about 10 o'clock. Thanks for hanging out this long. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Packing up. Maybe driving into Sisters to check out some stuff. I don't know yet what we're going to do. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, maybe give the video a like if you like camping adventures and stuff like that. See you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. I just have to point out, this thing ran my fan until 4 a.m. It's at 81%. It's charging my phone right now, so it's probably gone down a couple percent since I started doing that. It's game changer, that fan. Oh my God, best camping sleep I've had in a while. So I will put a link for both of those in the description if you're curious. So I got a new jet boil and I'm gonna make some coffee with it. It's got a French press and I've never used a French press before, so this could be a total disaster, but let's give it a shot.
just whistle it safe for three minutes, so let's do that. Just push this down. Seems too easy. Well, I'll be damned. That's pretty good. So I'm all loaded up in the truck. I think I'm ready to go. I'm gonna head into Sisters, maybe drive up to Three Creeks, maybe take the old McKenzie Highway home. I've never driven it. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'll probably do stories and pictures and stuff like that, but it doesn't always make it into the video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you get to see all the adventures. And of course I'll post all that today and you won't see this video for a week or so. So you'll be like time traveling ahead of me. Uh, before I go, I just wanna give a quick shout out and thank you to my patrons and channel members who make content like this possible. Channel members get early access to videos, merchandise, discounts, and other perks. There's a join button right below the video. And if you wanna support future adventures like this at no cost to you, I sure would appreciate it if you'd consider using my affiliate links to Revzilla, Amazon, Rocky Mountain ATV or Moto Camp Nerd. Those are also in the description. I'm gonna get the DRZ situation rectified and you'll see her back in action quickly, but I decided this morning to not go do anything on the bike just because I, I don't like what it's doing. I don't like the venting thing and it just didn't seem prudent. So I'm gonna take the truck and have some adventures today. Couldn't resist one little mini adventure on the way out. Check this out. Advantage of being here on a weekday early in the morning. It's not even that early, it's eight, it's almost nine, but look completely empty we're gonna check out the head of the metolius metolius is the river i don't know if you caught that huh this is it that is not that impressive because of all the vegetation but that is a rock face that's where the river flows out of and then you see it goes ever onward This is Three Creeks Lake behind me. It's about 30 miles out of Sisters. Beautiful, 6,200 feet. Still snow on the shoreline. I haven't been here since I was a kid. I just wanted to see it again. More beautiful than I remember. Decided to take the old Mackenzie Highway home. Never actually driven it. This is Windy Point. Look at this lava field. That's Mount Washington. Hell yeah. Wow. Look at this. That's pretty cool. You should come check this place out. What a cool day of adventure. I'm not even home yet, but my original plan was to end this video back at the campground and then maybe put some stuff in after the credits, but dang, did I see some cool stuff after that. I feel like it needs to be in the main video. So thanks for coming along on this adventure, but I'm gonna get on the road and try to get home. But for now and as always, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! Yay! It's last year's fire.